I've enjoyed, and I know some of you guys haven't, so I'm not going to dwell on this too much because I know some of you guys get a little bit, you know, you get a bit uneasy when I show this type of stuff. But I've told you before, I have a really weird, I have a really weird infatuation with like crazy people. And sometimes I delude myself thinking that they're not crazy and just enjoying the freak show, enjoying the fucking psychosis of it all. I think it makes for entertaining content, entertaining whatever, right? Um, and I think a part of me, likes that because a part of me believes maybe deep down if circumstances didn't go if circumstances weren't all you know if certain things in my life didn't fall in place i might also be one of these guys online just like chatting shit going nuts do you know what i mean losing the plot so maybe there's a part of me that sees myself in these crazy people right so the foozy thing has been fucking fascinating he gets on he kind of comes out of hiding out of nowhere and start streaming on kick going twitch and kick i guess at the same time doing this whole game seven thing where the idea behind it is like he's in game seven of a basketball match or the championships whatever you fucking call it and he wants to kind of you know go for broke so the idea to go for broke is to stream every single day without break and obviously um it was funny to hear other people that our streamers say it's not sustainable like big streamers are basically saying it's not sustainable you won't be able to do it bloody blah 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 and I would imagine someone like a Fousey with his personality would be a non-stop content machine be able to go forever and ever. But it reached a point where he naturally crashed and the crash happened in such an epic way. So this clip I'm going to play you is going to put everything into context, but I'm going to get rid of the chat here quickly so you can just see what's going on. The guy here in the corner is the guy that trolled um, Fousey that led to the whole affair. Fousey's in the hotel chilling with his security guard, ranting and raving, um, saying he's sober, but you know, story for another day. And then this guy who's been trolling Fuzi the entire time ends up finding a way to call his fucking hotel room. He's got the number of his hotel room and basically they start threatening each other on, you know, over the phone. And then the threats get to a point where um, Fuzi threatens, I think, to go to shoot the guy. The guy then says he's going to, if he comes to his house, he's going to shoot him back. Something crazy happened. And then I think in, the, in that whole drama, Fuzi gets worried and calls the police. But when he calls the police, he feels like he's not getting anywhere with them. So then he starts faking that the guy's in the room with him. So, oh my God, he's got a gun. He's going to shoot me. He's going to shoot me. And then the police obviously rush to get there. When they rush to get there, they find him how he is and he stay. And credit to the police. I think this might have been Miami or something. And usually, I, I don't know. I've seen reports of, you know, how police come in, you know, when they burst through doors and shit. It can be crazy. Credit to the police in that, wherever state that he was in, for actually noticing that he was actually, you know, going through an episode and just putting him into um putting him going going and getting him help basically he got taken to a he got sectioned i'm assuming so that's how it kind of all played out but i'll play a bit of the clip so you can see what's going on and i'll kind of give my comment on the end you're gonna run away yeah, like fuck. a little pussy you're gonna freak out fuck. and threaten to fucking slip my throat again and shit and threaten to dox my family you fucking foot sucking pre-ejaculating bald weirdo fucking sand vin diesel fucking loser <laughs> you came to the wrong town buddy oh and by the way you know that dominique is mine right i sent her to you you fucking idiot i've already started breaking your heart we've only been at war for two days hey what's your address text me your address i swear to god you're dying and i will lie you're dying tonight. okay 20 21 21 30 yeah, uh, that's what happens when you come let's here fast forward a bit I just fast forward to here. You know, but I'm not sure if anything's in it. It may He's just be like, you kind of look at He knows my screen. address. He called my ass to my head. Send the cops. That's the individual. He's got like 60,000 people right watching now. him. There's He's a gun crazy. to my head. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, he left. Chat, and I guess he doesn't know what Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Money. Help, help. Get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, intercontinental. What's my room number? Help, tell me. 2027. All right, so I'm going to send an officer. That's what I have to do to get help. And the police arrive. Um, and then Yo, let me. 313 viewers over here on YouTube. What's up, baby girl? And then let me skip to the it's end. And you'll Everybody see what suck. happened here. Let's get to the end right here. Loser. I don't need a stalker. Okay, and who is this guy? I don't you know fucking either. know. So how do you want us to look for him if you don't know where he is? I have his address. What is his address? I said grab my security 20 minutes ago. You guys are dumb as fuck, man. You guys are literally dumb as fuck. Oh, hey, record this. Security, come in here now. 
<laughs> Yo, for my protection, come in here. He can't come in? Y'all are fucked. I'm suing all y'all. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral? Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Do you like your job? You're fucked. Hey! Hey, free foods! Free foods, yeah. Anyway, in my opinion... In my opinion, that was one of the most spectacular live streams in the history of live streams. Fuzi will go down in the Hall of Fame of live streamers. He is one of the greatest to ever do it. He is the IRL GOAT. Forget Ice Poseidon and all those fucking donuts. Fuzi is the guy. He has come back up and down after so many cancellations and failures and what they're malarkey. And he always finds a way to fucking prosper and strive. And the thing that I like about it is that most of these live streams, in my opinion, I don't think he performs. Like a lot of these live streams, especially the IRL ones, that whole community, there's a lot of kind of goading of the audience. You're kind of forcing. It's basically like their own version of reality TV, right? Where they script, like reality TV is, you know, mostly real, quote unquote, but it is also scripted where they put people in certain scenarios. They give them drinks. I don't know, whatever it may be. So they can force certain things to happen. Whereas that's the same thing these IRL streamers does. But Fuzi actually just goes out there in public and is himself which is kind of corny kind of ridiculous kind of crazy and things just happen and i've loved it i'm not gonna lie i fucking loved it especially the bit where he went to la he was in la and he went to some club in la and he was like you know i think it was um no i think it was a bryce hall's birthday party or something right and my god it was incredible to see what like um clouded up influencer very exclusive parties look like on the inside because it was fucking shit right it was like clearly a party like with all the biggest people on social media all the girls that you know all the guys that you know blah 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 and first of all the music was absolutely garbage like i i am so sorry for you guys in america who have to go to clubs like that like if you're not into the stuff that i'm into like the house and the techno and the disco and you go to like a regular club with like tables and shit the music they play in there makes no sense like there's no rhyme or reason why they're playing some of these songs back to back together and you're just like i don't know it makes it making my ears bleed but the other thing that was really interesting about it in the club mostly was just a lack of like dancing <laughs> it was essentially like you know those meetups that youtubers do where they go to a shopping mall and shit and people come you know and chase them around or they go and sign t-shirts somewhere it just felt like one of those type of things like bryce hall was sitting if i'm not mistaken in a section at one point then he was like on the dj booth but everywhere he kept moving the crowd kept moving where he was and just standing looking at him and that was it no one was dancing there was loads of like hot you know la type girls around no guys were interacting with them they were all basically trying to network and you know take pictures and shit and do little videos it was so bizarre to see but we only saw that insight because of fuzi fuzi went in there unapologetically himself he was sweating his whole face off during that whole thing um he said he was sober and kept drinking water like he was in the sahara desert that to me is when the molly is kicking but hey i'm not gonna put smudge on my guy's name because i'm a fuzi fan and i think in general in the end this is also a good example to show if you actually want to make it right if you actually want to go to the next level in life you have to sometimes go a bit crazy especially when it comes to content creation because nowadays you can't just do some milk toast run of the mill you know very sensible very grown up normal content and think you're going to get anywhere it's not going to it's not going to run in 2023 and beyond you have to get crazy you have to be unhinged you have to really really put yourself out there and people reward crazy because it's fun to fucking watch it's fun it's unpredictable you, you don't know where it's gonna end and in the end it kind of ended well because he's now getting the help that he needs um it's been interesting to see though that people clearly online again because i'm not really familiar with like because i've never had anybody in my family that's really suffered from like mental health issues or anything i don't really know people close like that either um because i don't really have a big circle of friends so i can't really see the signs but most people online they have to give people credit online on social media people were calling it from the jump they were saying there's something wrong with him he needs help he needs help people were calling it from the jump so it is interesting to see that even though I didn't see it, and I thought it was just being quote unquote crazy for content, it's now been true. You know, he actually did have an issue, which is why he's in, you know, he's in that hospital that he's in now. And he's in, he's been in there a lot longer than I thought he would be. You know, he was meant to come out, I think, sooner, but he's been in there for like four or five days or so. So clearly, 
um, he needs to be in there. So um, I'm happy that he's getting the help that he needs. But just to end the Fuzzy, um, the Fuzzy loving, my favorite clip of Fuzzy is this. This is my favorite Fuzzy clip ever, 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 ever. And I hope you guys like this too. <laughs> this clip is the best. Long time I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. I felt that no, that, like that. <laughs> long time I looked at myself. <laughs> I love this. one more time the gasp from the crowd the gasps from the crowd is the one that fucking gets me the gasps from the crowd is what gets me one more time <laughs> long time I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments I felt worthless I felt ugly I felt gay I felt that no that, like that he was copping please you see his hands Fujioda and <laughs> he was copping please <laughs> he was copping please like no 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 let's let, let's rewind let's rewind let's rewind I didn't mean bitches in that way I meant like bitches in like a you know <laughs> it was too late no no I meant like you know uh, <laughs> a bunch of sticks not like the derogatory way oh fucking hell so um free Fuzi get well soon my guy um you know doing content at that level just requires that level of fucking input you, you know it, whatever it is what it is man i'm still here i'm rocking with you brother